Hello and welcome to Sunday, Sunday the 16th of August and uh, my name is Phil Griggs. Welcome to Cafe Clairvoyance, the Sunday spiritual show and I uh, hope you had a lovely day, a lovely weekend, whatever you've been doing and uh, if it's still ongoing then enjoy, enjoy. And uh, yes, so time to just put down what you're doing if you want to or you can just listen with your earphones, whatever you want to go and do. Uh, listen to the show, to the banter, the gossip, the, the all sorts, the horoscope forecast and much, much more as you go through the show and uh, just say to you a big, 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 big warm welcome to the show. Always lovely to have you on the show. Always lovely to see you. In fact, you look absolutely fabulous. So, yes, here we go. All right. <laughs> saying hello already even before the music's finished good evening Eleni and uh, hope you are very very well we are well and hope every you guys out there are very very well so it's lovely lovely to see you okay right so uh yeah I think we ought to uh get things on the road and get things moving and uh let's just talk about things how you guys how you guys been doing here and uh hope you had a good week so what's been going on this week this week around us here you got your cup already me too, me too. There we go, there we go. All got our cups, our cups ready there. So, uh, yes, let's give say hi to Sarah. She wants to come and say hi, and uh, and we also is coming live on the show just this moment. So, during the show, what we'd like you to do is to share, share the uh, the gossip there, share the energy, and share that love. And uh, yes, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fabulous there. I'm just going to very quickly uh, just hold the show. Just no, no, so I won't have to. I was just looking for a microphone which had just popped out of his socket. I was going to quickly change it. Quickly change it here and uh, find wherever that's gone to. Oh dear, one of the microphones isn't working properly. So I hope you can hear me. Hopefully everything is all right because I don't know where it's uh, where that's gone to. Anyway, um, hope you can hear me loud and clear. Can you hear me loud and clear? Is everything all right out there? Good. Uh, right. Okay. So during the show this evening, uh, here we go. Oh, that's better. That's better. There it was. Yes, there was a switch that was in the wrong place. Anyway, so there you go. All live, all things happen when it's live, doesn't it? Uh, Susanna says hello. Says hi, Susanna. Now, now, guys, 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 guys. I think we are just uh, let us give a bit of a round of applause, a few shout outs to people who are coming on the show this evening. And first of all, Susanna, let's give you a little shout out there. Now, Susanna here, Susanna here, if you check out after the show the Cafe Clairvoyance group, Cafe Clairvoyance group, you'll notice that, that Susanna there has made some Cafe Clairvoyance soaps. Yes, isn't that interesting? That's brilliant. Sounds fantastic. Uh, they're organic soaps. Organic soaps. Made, the men's are made with turmeric and the ladies are made with beetroot. Um, guys, I think you ought to... Uh, try some of the beetroot as well because you know what beetroot does to you you guys yes 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 one of nature's little ways isn't it one of nature's little ways oh there we go anyway lovely to see so many of you guys come on the show this evening and uh let's give a let's give a few more shout outs there shall we so let's say hello to uh hemel hair extensions they often come on the show and they subscribe to youtube so a big shout out to them and oh we, we can't stop there now can't stop there now. let's say hello to everyone at chicks crop shop in dunstable <laughs> and let's give a hoops out to you lovely people out there uh who are um doing something you shouldn't be doing hey see caught you you thought no one was looking there you go we caught you <laughs> <laughs> oh dear 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 uh so much better i thought my speaker had gone no it was me the microphone had gone a bit funny then and uh let's let's give a, a shout out to everybody who is in suffolk <laughs> yeah why not why not a bit of party noise to everybody from ireland <laughs> oh dear god they love that out there won't they they will they will they will and uh also rachel says oh phil good to see you who's just down the road let's give a little ding dong to uh rachel there you go. How's that? A bit of a ding dong there. And uh, let's see. Let's see what the producer's up to right at the very moment. 
Ah, all oh, the information is coming in. There's all the live reading stuff that's coming in over the next few minutes or so. And who else? Who, who else we got to say a shout out to? Hey, to you guys out there, have a bit of this. <laughs> Woo! How's that? That's exciting, isn't it? Anyway, so uh, yes. So you guys coming in from all over the place. It's lovely to see. So we also got, ah, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. We've got another one there. Uh, let's go for, let's go for here, uh, Deanne. Deanne, she is in America and we're uh, we're, at, uh, we're at seven o'clock in the evening. So I think, yeah, so to all you guys in America, uh, all you guys in America that, who are just sort of getting up, you know, that sort of time of the day you're waking up and uh, maybe it's a lazy Sunday and that this is for you. Uh, there you go there there you go and also i would like to say a very very special thank you to my good friend on the wednesday show wednesday show guillemar uh we were at a funeral um, uh, earlier on last week and uh, she did a fantastic speech fantastic speech in fact she held the eulogy and everybody else joined in there but uh, absolutely fabulous to a friend of ours there and it made a celebration on life which is what it's really all about isn't it Anyway, and uh, to all the rest of you guys here, where where else are you guys coming in from? Oh, Joe Gardner, send some love. Oh, wow, have have a hoot, have a hoot. That that's a love hoot. How's that? <laughs> sure, that sounds about right. Anyway, so uh, let's let's crack on with the show here. Very very busy show tonight because we've got loads to tell you about. Now, who did we have on earlier on this week? Well, earlier on this week here, we had a fabulous show with Helen Helen Grady, and uh, she's saying Helen. He, Gorgio, hi, <laughs> and he, yes, that, that's Ellie's name there. So, uh, and she's in Ireland. She was on the Tuesday show, and wasn't the connection fantastic? It really was brilliant. Uh, clear signals and waves there coming all the way from Ireland to go. Great show on Tuesday. It was fabulous. It was funny. It was lively and uh, damn good fun. And uh, to you other guys here around the UK, around Spain, around America, uh, very very good evening to you. So uh, yes, let's let's have a great show now. Um, so hopefully it's ah uh, somebody here says it's ah uh, uh, it's happy Sunday from cloudy New York. Oh dear, it's raining. Oh dear, it's been a little hot down here in Spain. A little bit hot. And uh, Michaela says hello again. Hello again. Hello. It's always good to say yeah. Okay. All right. I know you want me to stop right there. Anyway, so let's have a look at uh, what else we've got to see here. So, uh, Hems on the Tuesday show. Then Guillermar, we did a, a wonderful show there, which was uh, very received by everybody. We talked about interesting subjects there, interesting subjects, and it was partially about suicide, about passing over, and um, all the things associated there. And it was very, it made it quite an interesting show, because I know you joined him, and I really appreciated that. And uh, um, and also during the show tonight, working with mediumship, um, it's working with your loved ones who have passed over. Uh, we're also working with astrology. We're going to do the forecast just a second and uh, just help you guys along. Now, um, also during the show tonight, was need to let you know there was a new moon coming up. Is in two days' time. Two days' time. Now, just to give you a little bit of a rundown and a theory about the moon. Um, when we have a new moon, especially uh, the moon goes what we call dark. Well, it goes dark because uh, we can't see it. We can't see it. A new moon is blocked by the sun's light, so we cannot see it. So every time you think of doing something, ah, oh, people say, "As oh, a new moon, I go and start something new." No, 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 no. Please don't. Please don't. Because when the moon is dark, you can't see it. So whatever plan you're trying to do, it's like you're fumbling in the dark. So uh, we would say here to do things after about seven days after a new moon. And this one is a particularly auspicious one. We're in a better energy. It's not perfect energy, but we're in a far better energy than what we were, say, uh, say a week ago, a week or so ago. Anyway, uh, please like, share the show. Please enjoy what goes on through the show here. And if uh, you want to add comments to it, by all means do. And uh, we also want to say to Lydia, Lydia's got an exam this week, and we just want to wish you a very, very big applause and a, and a hoot just to wish you well and just to, to know that you're listening to the show. So thank you. Thank you. Um, good luck to you. She's taking an exam on Wednesday. It's a very big one. Very big one. Okay. Yes. So uh, let's have a look. Let's have a little look at your astrology chart and work out what on earth is going on here? Because this is the interesting one, isn't it? In fact, let's just bring that across here. And 
there it is there it is i'm just gonna shrink it down a little bit so i can see me and i can see you now uh if you notice here it's all right around the charts like this it's almost like uh th three quarters or two thirds of a of a circle so to speak it used to be just half of the circle but everything's starting to shift on a little bit now new energy is starting to come through as everything starts to work its way through leo and also coming into virgo and uh, that'll be an interesting time, very interesting time here. Um, we've also got Uranus, which has just put its brakes on in the sky and it's come to a halt. And now it's starting to go backwards. It only started doing that yesterday. So it take ages to start moving and go in the direction here. Is that a bad thing? No, not really. Not really. It's, uh, it's life, isn't it? It's life, isn't it? We go through... Uh, cycles and changes and things like this and this is some of the stuff that's actually happening this week so uh yes that's where i like to come out there uh jasmine is listening in today and uh she'd better behave jasmine hello how are you hey remember the horse riding remember the horse riding there jasmine and uh we have had uh web feet in Bedfordshire where we did cheryl we did a little shout out for chicks crop shop um, at the start of the show so I hope you found you saw that and uh, she just wants to say hello to myself and producer Deborah who's up there and she is busy she's busy doing this at the minute with all the information running around the background wow I tell you what that lady is just uh, she, she's she, she can keep up with the, the big long distance runners out there with all the work she does and uh, okay so also here let's have a look um, yes just make sure You've got yourself a cup of coffee. I'll just, um, thank you, just a little bit more in there. That, that's fine, thank you, thank you very much. That's great. Okay, you've got to have a cup of coffee, haven't you? Anyway, brilliant. Um, so astrology, let's have a little look about what's going on in your chart this week uh, for you guys personally. Well, one thing that's going to happen is, is Mercury is going to join up with the sun. We have... Uh, uh, Chicks Crop Shop, can't wait to see you guys. Hey, we can't wait to see you guys either. Either, that'd be absolutely fabulous. They're in Dunstable in the UK. So anybody else there is uh, coming from a, a venture, a company or anything like that, just just, just let us know. It'd be great to, great to give you a little shout out as we did with Hemel Hair Extensions, as we did with Susanna for her soaps. And then you other ah, and also Javier Healing Group. Javier Healing Group, Danny and Javier, they do a splendid job and uh, they promote um all uh, all stuff to do with healing in the in the heavier area so we like to promote them as well so let's give them a let's give them a little noise there you go heavy healing group uh just just love the shout out let's give another shout out hey let's give let's give a massive shout out because uh jazz is a young lady here but let's give let's give her a bike horn there you go. There's your bike on there, Jazz. Brilliant. Okay, so the sun is just coming up to... Mercury just coming up to the sun. It's been behind it for a while. Now it's coming up. Coming up. It's going to go behind find it, and then it's going to go in front of it. But when it does, there's, there's often something here we find that communication goes a bit... Uh, I had this great idea, and it's moving ahead, but all of a sudden... Mm, Yes, it's it's the reason here is because the sun's energy is so strong it blocks out Mercury. So our communication sometimes goes a little bit school with, but we get the general gist of ideas that sometimes it's just keep on going, keep on going. You've got good ideas, keep them going. Anyway, um, yes, it's a good week in general to get jobs done. You know, get on with your 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 get get on with the hoovering, get with hoovering, get the jobs done. <laughs> Sorry, I know you always do it. Anyway, um, it's always work um, uh, work on things that really matter, the really matter, the important things. That's what's coming up with this uh, this energy we're going through now. Uh, and so, so seed new ideas and bring them out in about seven days. So we're almost talking a week. So all these great ideas you've got here, yeah, bring them out. Don't do it on a new moon. A new moon is great energy, but it's cultivating an idea. As soon as you come out towards, you can start looking outside. You see the crescent of the moon as it comes out to its first quarter, as it as it's starting coming out there. Then uh, that's a good time to go and do it. So, that's, uh, so that could be the next few days. And uh, and blah, mwah, blow a kiss at the moon as we do. Brilliant. And uh, yes, uh, oh Deb's Harris is hi hi Deborah Geeks. Who's Deb? Who's Geeks? I, I know who you mean. I uh, hope you are well. Yes, I'm sure she is. I'll write back to you in a minute. Okay, so come on in. Let's, let's get on with the astrology and uh, let's get things going here. So, uh, yes, let's, let's bring on your astrology chart. Uh, 
Only a Leo could play a trumpet like that because they love making noises. Have you ever met a quiet Leo? Not me. Not me. Have you ever met a quiet Leo? No, no, they're, they're saying no either. Quiet Leo? No, none of them know a quiet Leo. I, I don't know one. So great way to start off a show with uh, uh, with your sign. Now, by all means, if you'd like to, just uh, just drop in what sign you are as we go through the astrology section. Go through the astrology section and we start doing this. Let's, let's have a good old look here. Now, Leos. Leos, first of all, um, you've got the Sun and Mercury joining your charts there. Here's the big stuff. We've got the new moon coming in. It's going to be tying up with Mercury and the Sun. And it's also going to be tying up with, believe it or not, Mars. Mars, the, the energy bringer, the god of war. Not necessarily war. It's about action. It's about the stuff we need to make things happen. Cheryl says she's a cancer. Well, because you last of all. And uh, sorry, I'm just, sorry, I'm dyslexic. What star sign is dyslexic? Okay, so we've got Cheryl who says she's a cancer. And Deb says she's a dyslexic. Okay, that must be the 13th sign. Is that what it is? Anyway. Sorry, a little bit of humor battle, a humor battle there. Anyway, uh, Leo, exciting new times. Think things through, though, because uh, you've got all these energies coming up. Oh, we've got a Leo. Of course we have. Of course they have. Look, they even put a little quirky, quirky thing by the side of it to say, hey, I'm a Leo. Look, I am a Leo with a little purple logo. Oh, only a Leo does that. See, Libras, Libras don't. They're just nice. Uh, we've got Sagittarius. Yeah, they have fireworks. That's it. Fireworks. Of course they do. Anyway, so uh, as, we, as we go through here, Leo. So first of all here, Sarah. Sarah, this is this is you this week. Exciting new times. Exciting new times here. Uh, think things through. Uh, new people can bring exciting inspiration through to you. It's a great time to meet new people. Great time for new ideas. And this is this is probably going to be a magical time. So uh, uh, this is this is good fun. And also here, what we also have here is. Uh, uh, that Mars World is also going to be making a little bit of a link over to Saturn, over Saturn here. And sometimes we're going to think, mm, okay, but Saturn Mars, when it's in the 90 degrees here, is uh, is sometimes a bit of a sharp angle. It could be frustrating because Saturn just says, slow down. And Mars says, no, slow down, no. So somewhere along the line here, yes, it's an exciting time, but sometimes we just feel like, Yes, uh, got all these plans and ideas we want to go. The new moon's coming in. Say, come on, let's whip up something fresh and exciting. Mercury's joined the sun. Mars is going, yes. And Saturn's just saying, slow down. Yes. So it's always like I'm trying to do my, um, uh, I forget his name now. Who is it? Lee Marvin. Lee Marvin impression. I was born under a wandering star. Anyway, yeah, yeah slow down. Slow down. Anyways, there we go. So we've got to slow down a little bit as we go through this 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 week here. And uh, also, but I think now you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy the week, especially if you start connecting with people, meeting new people, and uh, just bringing on ideas. Talk about them. Leos are good at talking. Yes. In fact, they're good at expressing. Just just imagine a peacock with the flowers. Have you seen my feathers? No. Didn't see you. Didn't see a thing. No. These feathers. No. no. Sorry. Didn't see a thing. Anyway. Sorry. Um, anyway. Virgo. Virgo. Let's move on to Virgo here. A uh, flash of new inspiration for you guys can light the way. And that's because the sun and Mercury and the new moon are in the 12th house. You're in your solar 12th house. It's what's going on up here. Virgos, what's going up here? It's like going, pennies just dropped. Pennies just dropped. Got it. Got it. So that in, that inspiration there is pretty, pretty damn good. Also here we got uh, Venus here, which is also making a very, very nice link to Uranus through the week here. Uh, so it's about social ties around you as well, guys, social ties. And who better than to find people around you who are really, really comforting, cuddly, all this sort of stuff here. It's a bit like um, Paul, for example. He He's he's like the honey monster, but a very cuddly chap, very cuddly chap. So he's he's, a, he, he's the right man to get around there. And Adriana, yep, she's just nuts. She's just nuts, but great to see her on the show as always. As we need Sagittarians, because they're always looking forward to it. Have you seen the future? Have you seen the future here? Gemini's, Gemini's here, as in Helen is. Yes, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We've got more Sagittarians here. So yeah, have you really seen the future? In fact, this is Susanna's main special soaps. So there we go. Anyway, let's crack on. Uh, Virgo here. So flash of inspiration can light the way. Libra. Hmm, Libra, Libra, Libra. Always the most charming sign of the zodiac and they always look beautiful, don't they? And they have the most charming of friends. In fact, they are charming. 
Tell me whether you've got the moon in Libra or whether you've got the sun in Libra. It's it's all very, very nice, very nicely stuff here. And Libra, so career and money matters are start. And uh, the Venus and Uranus are going to help you with helpful friends. So great time for career. Get those ideas with jobs on the go you want to go and do. It's interesting, isn't it? One thing that Uranus is doing is helping us to change. Change it. Because we've seen, like like us, like us here, we take a work from which was external, going around everywhere, as uh, Helen and I would know. We used to go around to bars and clubs doing all sorts of things like this. And now uh, more stuff is online. So actually, but online though, you reach more people, more people here. And we've got you lovely gang of people out there. You hoodlums of the Zodiac. That's it. You rascals of the Zodiac. This. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on. Mm. So uh, Libra, there's a Scorpio, Scorpio here. Uh, great new opportunities ahead. Listen to advice, though. Listen to advice this is important. And don't get bogged down by others. So you've got advice at one point here and you've got to break free of the people around you are holding strings on you, trying to pull you backwards. Oh, yes, but don't forget this. Or can you do that? Can you do this? Can you do that? No. What part no don't you understand? The N or the O? Yes. Is that about right? I think I think so. I think it's a vital part there. Vital part there. So, uh, yes, let's let's have a little look here. So, oh, right. So that's that's Paul there, who's a Scorpio. He's a Scorpio. So, well, there you go. And uh, right, let's go for a Sagittarian. Oh, my goodness, there's loads of you here. So we've got Deb, who's a Sagittarius. She's not a dyslexic, whatever that star sign is. She's actually, <laughs> she's actually a Sagittarian. But only a Sagittarius would say that. Many Sagittarius say. In fact, Susanna, she's a Sagittarian too. So you guys out there, uh, news from abroad or people far away. People far away, like uh, people haven't seen for ages, suddenly pick up the phone and say, hi, Susanna, how are you? Or they say, hi, hi to everybody else here. Hi, <laughs> hi to you guys coming out there. It's, it's always lovely when you get this, isn't it? People, people wanting to uh, get, you, get you going there. Anyway, um, yes, so... <laughs> Paul says, since when do I listen to advice? Um, hang on, I'll go through the calendar. I'll have a look here. No, not then, not then, not then. Don't think he ever has. Right, okay. Well, this is the week that may be advised to do that due to, due to little old Saturn being involved here. Just says, ah, just make sure we all listen to things here. Okay, so uh, let's, yes, yeah, so Sagittarius um, news report, fresh new energy. Heaven help. Fresh new energy, bring you a lease of life and happiness ahead. Oh dear God, don't say I have to say to Tara, because I love the word ahead. Ahead, it's not behind, it's ahead. Anything you say is behind, so Tara goes, I don't understand that word. What's behind? Now I only know ahead, because that's where I'm going to, ahead. Yes, they don't do this stuff behind. Leos do. Leos love the stuff that's going behind them. Do you remember those days there, back in the olden days? Blah, blah, blah. And the Sagittarian says, no, I always think ahead. So that's where they're going. Brilliant, isn't it? See, it's so easy work in astrology. You just go that way or that way. With Leos or Sagittarians. Funny as funny as anything, that punch. Funny as anything. Anything. Anyway, right. Uh... <laughs> right, okay. The producer says, best task, Phil. I might get, I might be a philism. A philism. Okay, that sounds good. A philism. Thank you very much. Very witty, producer. Very witty. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, guys, let's go on to Capricorns. Capricorns, though, with the here's there. <laughs> there, you all thought the Leo was a lion, but Capricorn. Rawr. I couldn't find a goat, so uh, a lion would have to do. Okay, money matters step in, a new uh, money matters step in, and a new direction may well be in. Yes, yes, all right. Thank you very much. Overemphasizing that. Thank you. So tame him down. Tame him down. Anyway, money matters are coming up to the fore. And a step in a new direction may well come to the fore. And perhaps uh, you may see a breakthrough going through in a different direction. There's a change coming here, Capricorn, which may be encouraging for you. Very, very encouraging. And uh, put things in a good direction. And even with Mars going through Aries, Mars going through Aries and it being retrograde, that's interesting because that may well highlight a lot to home as well. In fact, uh, any, any, um, <laughs> lion bar, lol, it's the lion bar. Yes, we all need a lion, Mars. Nice. And uh, yes, Deborah's a Capricorn producer. She said, money, money, money. There you go. 
Uh, anyway, so uh, yes, that's the energy is starting to come through Capricorn. So it's just watch what different directions you may be taking in over the next few, few weeks, few months or so. You may find it's completely um, awesome, awesome energies here. Uh, we've got Saturn involved as well. So uh, Capricorns know about Saturn. So sometimes it's about, uh, yes, learning how to structure this energy that's coming in. Yes, yes, no better. Uh, yes, Capricorn, yay, that's Deanne as well in New York. She said, yay, very encouraged by new direction. Yeah, that's coming in, that's coming in. Right, okay, let's go on to Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, which everybody thinks is a water sign. It's not, it's an air sign because you think of Aquarius as being water. Now, someone up there in the Roman gods just got that a bit confused. Uh, it's supposed to be Arius, Arius, I think. There should have been Arius, yes. Okay, never mind. Anyway, thank you, thank you, those Roman gods. Okay, so um, now on the 15th of August, which is uh, just gone, just gone here. Um, that's, that's interesting because Uranus has just put the brakes on the sky, which is your own planet, and start to go backwards. Uh, does this mean that things go wrong? No, not at all, because you've got Venus, which is going to make a lovely link to your sign quite soon. And... Uh, uh, which can be very good for about work matters, maybe health matters, maybe just the routine of life actually just going, hey, things are running okay, things are going all right. But Uranus is halted in Taurus. Now, um, this is this is sometimes areas around your life here, uh, which may all be associated with home and home matters here, that maybe you're thinking matters are going to progress. And actually here, Uranus just saying, hmm, things are going to slow down a bit. Now, when you get this here, um, it's going to be there. It's going to start it on the 15th of August. It doesn't go direct again until January the 14th, 2021, because it's so far away. It's so far away. It's such a slow orbit around the sun. It's like, if you can see that, then you've got eyesight that is just, well, you haven't got eyesight. You've got something else. But uh, uh, it's just amazing. You can see that there. Uh, seek support from others if this is needed. And watch health matters. And also, here's the thing to do. Do the three R's. The three R's, you just go, R, R, R. That sounds like a line, doesn't it? No, it's relax, refresh, and revitalize. From now till January, just relax, refresh, and revitalize. Anyway, so, um, yes, how's that? Do you want to say that again? The three R's, relax, refresh, revitalize. And that's a lot for, in fact, if we go to uh, Ariana up here, she is an A, um, and that means she's an Aquarian. This is code for Aquarians because people Aquarians do things the the, uh, the funny way, the funny funny way. Anyway, uh, right, okay, let's move on to Pisces. Pisces, new ideas inspire your beliefs. Now this is interesting here because uh, you've got some amazing energy at the moment because you've got Neptune and Jupiter which are swinging around in the same harmony here for a little while. Even though uh, even though they're both retrograde, they're both singing a good song which they both understand. Isn't it nice? It's poetic, that, isn't it? But Pisces like that. And uh, so new ideas inspire your beliefs and work goes really well. So work matters are going to go very, very well. <laughs> Sounded just like Tommy Cooper. Oh, my goodness. OK, like I've forgotten how he goes now. Anyway, um, not like that, but like that. That's it. <laughs> OK, so let's let's now go and move on to let's go move on to Aries. Aries, 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 the fire sign of Aries, which is uh, uh, we everyone needs an Arian because uh, they're they're the action doers, the action doers, the people who get things going. And uh, wow, Aries, wow! Well, of course, they love hearing that, don't they? Um, yeah, love <laughs> Aries love to hear about themselves. So we should say, wow, Aries, look at that! Anybody an Aries here? Have we got an Aries on tonight? Okay, well, exciting few weeks ahead. Uh, learn and practice your your goals. What it is, your aims. Learn and practice things. It's almost like you know, before you're going to perform, just like that. That's it. Not like that, but like that. That's it. <laughs> go and practice the things you want to go and do. Because you know you get that energy here and you think, yes, let's go now. But we're going, where are we going? I, I don't know. Just go. Just go. So, uh, okay. So Eleni's, Eleni's husband is an Aries. Now you either get a very strong, mindful Aries who just says here, I know where we're going in life. Or well, the other one is very stubborn, very stubborn Aries. But uh, you you tend to find it as two types. There's the passive Aries or there's the action Aries. And the passive Aries is the one who can just keep going and going and going and going and going, like a long distance runner. And there's the other Aries, which is like the sprinter. Vroom. Fantastic, isn't it? Anyway, um, so Aries being there, they're the ones here which are going to go for a great time like this. 
Uh, right. Okay. So, um, yes, learn and practice your goals. Take nothing for granted. So don't just, although you want to rush off in a direction now, Aries, it's probably a great time for you. Also, just notice this week here, especially new moon, is Mercury, sun, is Mars energy. Fantastic. But you've got Saturn there. It says here, yeah, but always watch what's around you because Saturn's rings can be a little bit restrictive. And if we make a boo-boo, then we sort of got to go back on things. Oh, we've got to go back to start again before we can actually go forwards. So, yes, but you've got all inspiration there. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Well, in your sign at the moment is Uranus. Uranus is retrograde. It's... um. Be careful you say that, didn't you? Your Uranus is retrograde. Yes, I had that funny feeling earlier on today. Maybe the curry the night before. It's a new word for it. Yes, I'm feeling a little retrograde. <laughs> Time to go over the old. Changes that have taken place in your life this year. Um, to go over these old things here, the things that have taken place, what it is you want to go over and maybe just uh, tweak a little bit. And uh, sometimes it is quite reflective and sometimes Taurus doesn't mind that because they like doing similar patterns, similar patterns. I mean, a happy Taurian is, is someone who's um, a, probably a gardener, but a gardener, loves beauty, loves singing, always related to around the throat area, so they love talking, but they love talking about beauty, the arts, love, you'll find, because they're ruled by Venus. And Venus is making a lovely angle at the moment too, Uranus, so it's very much about this love, love things. Should do it again, love. Yes, and uh, so this this energy is very charismatic for them, and uh, but also with Uranus going retrograde, it's about going over all things and say, okay, well maybe there is something I can work on, something I can do, something I can uh, just bring into perspective somewhere. Maybe there's something just needs to be ironed out a bit. Maybe there's part of your consciousness, Taurus, that just says I just need to feel better about something. I just need to go back and sort things out. Uranus has given me the opportunity to do that. Okay, Gemini, Gemini. In fact, uh, here is the typical sound that you may hear here of uh, a Gemini. This is a Gemini's normal everyday conversation. Typical, isn't it? That's spot on, isn't it? You couldn't, you couldn't get this any clearer. So there you go. That's a typical Gemini's conversation. And if you know a Gemini, then uh, you'll know just what they're like. I mean, us Capricorns don't talk very much. Anyway, so um, let's look for support and helpful friends. Helpful friends can help break through an old situation which may have stagnated you a little bit, so it's support from other people. So Gemini's here, you're great at talking, but also ask for help if it's needed this week. And uh, this new moon is a terrific energy to give you this energy to support this Shazam, this fantastic stuff here, so magic, magic, magic. And uh, this is uh, very good for Helen. Helen says here, so anything you need here, anything you need to just reach out and touch, I'll be there, I'll be there here, just call my name and I'll be there. Well, that's not Gemini, that's the other sign, who are just like the Cancerians or maybe a Virgo's around, so yeah, no problem, no problem. A Leo says, I'll rush to the rescue, don't worry, <clears throat> I'm on my way, I'm there in five, there in five. We've got a Scorpio, Scorpio, very deep Scorpio says, I can sense the change. Yes, you've got a Sagittarian. Don't worry, just look to the future. You've got a Capricorn. Let's 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 work on this. Let's work on this. Okay. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway. So uh, the the producer says, uh, "Feels most talking of Capricorn." I know. No, no, it's worth more than me. More than me. Uh, no encouragement for me, Dara. Okay, for Melanie. Yeah, yeah. It's Emily. It's down to you. Down to you. Okay. So there you go, Gemini. Sometimes you just need a little bit of helping hand and a bit of talk from someone. A little bit of that, and then we're on our way. How's that? Cancer, cancer. Now, um, this is interesting, because there is the last sign here now coming through, and uh, Cancerans, where are we going now? Surprising personal developments you may not have been aware of are about to come through to you to make this, well, quite an uh, inspiring week. Now, your, um, your ruling planet is the moon. So whenever the moon does like a new moon or a full moon, or even if you feel like doing a moony, no, don't do that, don't do that. Don't, uh, the troubled times that creates. Anyway, so, but it's going into Leo, which is a fantastic time here, just going, uh, creating something new, a new um, a new pattern of life could well be emerging over the next few weeks. And uh, and also very good to, for some aims or ambitions around you with Mars over in Aries. It's, uh, so it's, and you're a cardinal sign as well. So um, generally here, I think cardinal signs and fixed signs are going to do quite well 
over the next few weeks. So watch how you go here. The others, yeah, you all do fine. Well, we all do fine here. Anyway, so that's that's the astrology, the astrology for the weekend. I hope you enjoyed that. So I don't want to talk too much about it, but uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an insight there. Just just a few words. Just a few words. How, how's that? Is that right? Good. Okay, so need to tell you what's coming up this week. An extraordinary week ahead. Uh, we have got, we have got here on Tuesday night, uh, I've got an amazing guest coming into the show. His name is Andy and he's a guy, he's, he's a farmer, but he's no ordinary farmer because this farmer here is a spiritual farmer. Have you ever heard of one of them? You're going to want to listen because this guy's incredible. As soon as he started talking to me about farming and spiritual farming and how he grows his crops in a spiritual way. Uh, is incredible and then actually to think yeah, okay this is what is this I mean Eleni Eleni you're going to want to see this Eleni because I know that uh, actually I'm going to drag some of your pictures off your Facebook page if you don't mind and drop me into the show because uh, you've been down your allotment there and you've been growing all sorts haven't you mm, uh, as in vegetables yes <laughs> As the vegetables there. So, uh, yes, absolutely fabulous. So I think some of the stuff there that uh, you've been doing yourself there. And, uh, uh, yes, brilliant. Oh, this is nice. Susanna, let's just pop this in here. Put this in here. Uh, my daughter is cancer and having a baby in the next six weeks. Well, there we go. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. Congratulations to, to your daughter there. And, and, and it's lovely to be a granny again, isn't it? A granny. Mm. Anyway, so um, the other information here I'd like to say to you is, uh, Ellie, yeah, by all means, uh, I wish I could grow. I know you're a very short lady, but you are lovely. You know, she's a little tiny little lady here, but she's got mighty loving power because she's she's a just fabulous. So, um, okay, I'd be interested because I'm from a farming family. Yeah, you got to have during the show, you got a bit of straw and a little farmer's hat, and you'll be off and make tractor noises. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? Yes, or make farm noises. Yes, get your toy tractors out and practice your practice your farming there. Because this guy's going to come on the show, and he's absolutely amazing guy to just listen to. But he starts talking about the quantum quantum growing, the quantum soils, and and all the different things here. So this is just amazing. He's just incredible. He's he grows organic veg. I thought they said orgasmic veg. No, it's organic veg. Anyway quick slap of coffee you know the tongue slips every now and then anyway so this is what he grows he's coming on the show this week and uh, i think you'll absolutely love love to see him and uh, it'll just be uh, a very very in insightful show in fact i'm sure I'll do one show and then i want to do another one again but his 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 food is incredible i mean have you ever seen a round cucumber that happens out here it does it happens out here Mm, amazing crops anyway so uh then on wednesday on wednesday we've got this so yes always 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 look for us to um Ellen is now boasting. She's bragging. I I beg to say if I should bring this on or not, but I will do. Um, but it's absolutely, um, it looks absolutely hilarious. Anyway, so that's Guillemar coming on Wednesday. Always a lovely, lovely show. And uh, Ellen says she's grown a yellow cucumber. Are you sure there's not a pepper? <laughs> you get mixed up there. I'm sure it is. I'm not going to argue. I'm going to argue. There is a yellow cucumber. See, you learn everything on this show. Not only can it be round ones, there can be yellow ones. Yeah, no one's okay. It's uh, I'm out of my depth here. I'm out of my depth here. So I think what we should do is do the next bit, which is uh, start doing some readings before I just get out of my depth completely, and it just goes a bit too bonkers. So a little bit of this. <laughs> Okay, right. Uh, Helen there says good Irish breeding. And now that's Cornish. So that's Cornish. But Jesus, good Irish breeding. Stop. Okay, stop. Okay. Personations over. Let's do some live readings for you guys and see what's coming up here. And uh, right, there you go. So you want to do some breeding? Go to Ireland. That's the best place to breed. So we're told. And uh, with uh, Eunice going retrograde, yep, yeah, definitely a good place to breed. 
anyway, right. Okay, so let's go into readers here. And first of all, first of all, let's go to Eleni because you wrote in here and you just said pink anything for me. Uh, have I got the right way here? I'm looking for. Actually, no. Big pardon. Let's go to Pat. Big pardon. Got the got this there. Got the ideals wrong here. I'm just looking for Pat. Pat says um, this is interesting here because she's got and this is connected to uh, to Helen here. Helen. So uh, she she's actually saying here it's her sister. Helen's sister comes through and uh, she she wanted to ask um, the blanket she has made. The blanket she has made is uh, is it a business opportunity? So Pat, let's have a let's have a little look for you. Look for you here. So Pat, very very nice to very nice to meet you this evening. And uh, I know you're there probably watching with. Um, probably watching there with Helen and uh, just to pick up here and immediately I'm talking here I've got this impression of this man and I'm wearing glasses here and he's looking straight at me he's coming straight at me here wearing glasses in fact if I take off my glasses I can see him and uh, this man wants to come through and he's laughing his head off here he says he was a smoking trooper he wants to show me I don't know what I've got to see you know the under bed basins the under bed basins he's he's got these here but I don't know what he did with them. What he, um, the under bed, you know, the basins you used to take out what you like a, a wee pot, uh, a wee pot, which is pretty polite, a wee pot, which is in, in the middle of the night. Anyway, what, what I pick up here is, is there, there's something about this, which I think is, um, uh, he wants to signify here because he's laughing his head off. And he also wants to say here, he says he loved trees. He's got, he's shown me loads of trees. Okay, yes, I've got all this information I've got to give you here. And he's thrown this through, so I've got to share it with you. But he, he's very, very happy to bring this up to you and just say to you here that he's, he's extraordinarily happy to come through. And uh, But he says here, this is great, the blanket idea. And I think the blankets are fine, superb, which is lovely. But would you understand the other projects that you want to get on with that you're sort of thinking in the background here? I really need to do that. And I really need to do that. So I really need to do that. He thinks the blankets are fine. He's saying to be here. What about the other things that you want to get on with here? Uh, that's the pose. Yes, yes, the pose. It's called the pose. Yes. We learn everything new on this show. Yes, we don't have pose in the Cafe Clairvoyants though, but they are there in the past too, aren't they? Anyway, so that's what he wants to say to me. He just gives me this, this, uh, those pose. Uh, he's just saying to me here, he says, uh, there's a lot for you to work on this year, he's saying to me. He says that uh, there's a lot about yourself that you're working on to strengthen yourself, to become uh, even more awesome than what you are. And he's, uh, he wants to show me that he's very, very pleased to come over. In fact, he just shows me granddad grandfather but i'm trying to get more details about things that's all he's telling me at the moment and uh, he's just laughing at me here and he wants to show the a or the p the a or the p that starts off his name but he's 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 a very happy man very curious to come over and uh that that's a nice energy there so yes we've got your blankets here i think yeah great idea great idea but don't forget the other stuff that you're going to be working on which is what's going to build more structure to your life around you and give a bit more solid base and i get the feeling that's where you're going to go and also here he says I don't know why he's cooking up. He's cooking up loads of food, loads of food here. But OK, this is this is simple stuff in some respects here. Would you understand making too much? Yes, you got to throw it away. Yes. OK, 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 OK. So there we go. So Pat, uh, lovely colour green there as well, which is great for Ireland, isn't it? Lovely colour green for Ireland. And I'll also pick up there too as I look at this. There's uh, um, very, very nice energy here just to... Yes, yeah, about fresh beginnings, but uh, not to be afraid. He says here, not to be afraid to just bolster on. Just, uh, yes, there, there, there we go. We start doing well. Right. Eleni, Eleni, pink, anything for me? Okay, let's have a look here. Eleni, Eleni. So let's just pick up the energy around you, which is um, you've been growing vegetables. So you've been growing them big turnips and all sorts. So I know I, I can see them there. We got your lovely pictures on Facebook. Let's just have a look here and let's uh, just work on your energy. Now, um, as I'm working here, as I'm working here, um, um, I'm not going to put that up, Paul. Paul, I'm not going to put that up. Um, anyway, he's, he's showing me here to say to you that he loves, uh, I've got this gentleman here who's coming through for you, Eleni, and uh, he, he's saying to me here, he's, he's, um, he's wanting to calm something down. Would you understand about, whoa, 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 everybody calm down, everybody calm down, pressure, 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 whoa, take the pressure off, he says here, take the pressure off, and he wanted to say here that everybody needs to talk, just discuss, and, but 
here's something interesting I'd like to say to you. Uh, here's, here's you, Annie. Whatever the discussions, debates, or, or anything like this is going on around you, they're just words. It, they're not problems. They're not problems here. I know it's easy to say here, but he's just telling me here to say to you that uh, the issues going on around you at the moment are not what you think. It, they're just emotions. They're, they're in the sky, but it's not the practical stuff that's really going on. And money will be fine. He just said to me here, money will be fine around you. And uh, also he just says, just says the word dick or dicky, you know, like a man. Yeah, because, uh, like uh, Yes, yes, because a big D to his name. He just wants to give me that... That that's all good there. Anyway, so uh, yes, so uh, that's what that's what I pick up there for you, Eleanor. Know, hopefully that makes sense to you. In fact, let's do. Uh, she says makes sense. She says makes sense. Makes sense. Good. Uh, she's. But I just pick up money is not going to be a problem. And actually, here the more you're acting on something more sooner, the better it will be for later on. That's what I pick up here too. So yes, I, I know we're uh, in unusual times, but this this energy coming through at the minute will probably work out for the better. Right, okay, let's cut the pack into three piles. I've got uh, I've got the left, I've got the middle, and I've got the right. And Elni, I'm gonna go for the left for you. And let's see what comes up here. And, uh, right, okay, let's see where we're going. Um, travel over water, money matters, working out fine. Property is looking wonderful. Absolutely no problems at all. Rock and roll, Elni. Get out there, go and do your stuff. Don't doubt, just do. That's part of this fantastic energy. So go out there and enjoy yourself. Go and, go and do it, Eleni. That's it. You, you need a bit of this. This is it. Get going. That's it. Here, here comes the British. Well, and the, and the Cypriots and all the other nationalities. <laughs> but here they come. They're on their way. So yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. She says here. Yes, yes. So go do it. Go do it. Go do it. We've got to go and do that. Right. Okay. Sarah, let's go and have a look here at... Uh, Sarah K. Uh, Sarah K. Here. Green. What should I focus on right now? Um, Cafe Clairvoyance. Without a doubt. Just focus on Cafe Clairvoyance. Now, actually, here, this is one of the Leos. You know the Leos and the Peacocks? Yes. Have you seen my feathers? No. <laughs> How to annoy a Leo. How to annoy one. Anyway, so let's have a, let's have a little look here. And uh, see what's coming up. Right. Um, so, so Green, what should I focus on right now? Uh, interesting here, interesting here, what I pick up is that um, what I'd like to say to you here is, is, is I feel that the next few week or weeks in front of you is uh, not going to be a, a struggle time that we could sometimes perceive it to be. In fact, it'd be completely opposite. I get the feeling here that you're going to meet extraordinary people. And I want to say extraordinary people uh, because I think things are going to just be awesome. For you. In fact, uh, let's just, uh, oops, that's it. Sorry, Susan, there you go. Sorry, producer, I forgot to do that now. I forgot to bring Susan's name up. Okay, right, because uh, what I'd like what I'd like to say here, Susan, is I feel that your energy is going to be transforming this week and actually you're going to get a bit of a buzz, some hope. So it may well be some good news, which is going to be, oh, well, that's changed. Let's change it a little bit. I mean, Leos are fantastic at looking that way behind them. They love to talk about, yes, but what about the past? Well, what about it? We're now moving on to the future. It's different. And uh, this is where the energy is going to start taking. I think you're going to feel pretty strong by this. So it, it should be, um, that's right. Okay. Let's let's have a look here. Right. Da, 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 da. Let's. Paul, I'll bring that up in a minute. You're mad as anything, man. Mad as anything. Why do we get mad people on this show? We don't know. Anyway, right. Okay. Let's have a look here. Let's have a look here, Sarah. So left, middle, uh, right. I'm going to go for the right because it feels right. The right way to go. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Three bells. Okay. Let's have a little look here. What the energy is bringing through for you. Uh, a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking. And actually here, do you know what? Here, you're on very, very, very safe ground. But just little steps ahead. But new people coming into your life. New people coming to your life over the next couple of weeks or so are going to lift your spirits. All very gentle, all very nice. And uh, uh, actually, it's time. Time actually is going to work in your favour. But initially, you're thinking, yeah, I can't see that just yet. I can't see that just yet. But actually, it will be there. So, mm, good luck there. Right, OK, let's just come back up here. Now, um, <laughs> Paul, honestly, what do you like? What do you like? We're going to talk about Poe's. 
pose, although the pot under the bed is called a gazunder. Well, we'll all be going around and talking about gazunders now. Anyway, or the thunder pot. <laughs> Actually, he says he, he had to look up this on, um, you know, just quickly get him here, where he is now. Uh, it, he just said he had to very quickly just check that this was right, but actually it was. So, yeah, he had to look look, look up a Wikipedia, but there we go, a gazunder. Gazunder, that's brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely lovely. Right, okay, let's go to Caitlin. Hello to Caitlin. They're out in America. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> let's go to America. Let's go to Caitlin. Black, anything for me. Well, I can't see a thing with black. No, sorry. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Caitlin, Caitlin, Caitlin. Let's just have a little look here. Um, one thing I like to... I don't know what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing children. I'm seeing children. I'm seeing children. And where this is talk about children. But Caitlin, I'm hearing about this. And I just want to say to you here about... It's uh, probably some good news and good vibes coming with this here. But I just get a good, good vibration with this. I also would like to say to you here, Caitlin, that there's... Um, uh, I've got a, I've got a lovely energy here on your mother's side. Lovely lady here talking very, very close to me. She's just coming in. She's on her mother's side, your family. She was not an old lady when she passed over. I'm getting something to do with a K like Karen or Kathleen, actually, as she's talking to me. And she's a very, oh, yes, very nicely, very up close to me here. And she just wants to say to you here, she says here, she says September. September and actually she says October but I get the feeling September so September October are going to be pretty awesome months for you and I feel it's just going to be a little bit of a like yes a breakthrough a breakthrough it doesn't necessarily mean to be about children could well be but I'm seeing nippers I'm seeing little nippers so uh that's a, that's a nice energy here I'm picking up for you but good breakthrough information that I pick up especially to do with work I think it's going to be awesome on the cards here as you come through to around about October I'm also hearing here too, they're talking to me about um, plans about traveling away, plans about traveling away. And they're saying to me here, it's good to talk and just mull things over. It may not be the right time to say, yes, we're going to definitely go for this, but mull things over. Look at the pluses, look at the positives and see where we're going here, because that's where things are going to take you in the right, well, right direction. So I think it's good about that there. How's about that, Katie? How's about that? So hopefully you enjoy that there. And uh, right, 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 right. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. Um, I've got three piles of cards here, three piles of cards, and I'm just looking at cards here. You want to go for the middle one for you, Caitlin? Middle one, and let's see what comes up here. There's, uh, um, I don't know why I'm seeing sixes with you. Sixes, uh, a six, six or sixes. Um, oh, I'll tell you what you're going to love this week. You know what that means, don't you? Especially you and us going retrograde. When you and us going retrograde, it's going to flash up your love life. We've got this new moon, this new Leo moon coming on in two days' time. It's close to Mercury, close to the sun. It's going to light up communication. It's going to light up Mars. It's going to light a bit of energy there. And yes, we're on our way. Patience, though, my dear. In general life around you, patience. Yes. All good things come in there in their own little sweet little time. But I'll just pick up here, Kate. Good for you. I think you're going to do extraordinary this these next few weeks in front of you. But definitely September, October. And uh, really got a good, good, that's it. Cross fingers for you. So great. Uh, Taz said, it says lots of, lots of love and light. She's a fabulous guest on the show. Always, always look forward to her. And Simone says, great to see you. Anything for me? We'll come back to you very shortly. I'm just looking for the... Uh, now, I'm just quickly going back up here because I did see. Oops, Ariadne, that's it. Great. Thank you. Thank you, producer. Here we go. It's always fabulous having a producer on the show because she sets everything up as the show goes along. In fact, this is for a producer because she's just absolutely amazing. She's got fantastic hair, especially with the purple bits in, and she is just awesome. So this is my wife, Deborah. Just so <laughs> they're taking bows now and they're going thank you everybody thank you very much thank you very much okay ariana white it sounds like a sounds like a um <laughs> sounds like a singer doesn't it? it's like barry white ariana white yes i'm in the mood for love what's a barry white song was it i'll try to think of his songs yes yes anyway uh anything i should hear you're lovely you're wonderful happy happy here there you go 
Let's have a little look here. Right. Okay. 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 Let's have a look. And um, Hayla, I'm coming through to you in just a second. But in the meantime, let's just have a look at Ariana. Ariana, let's have a look at you. Your energy is fabulous, by the way. And also, I want to say to you that, um, and I want to say to you here that uh, your energy is really strong. But would you understand you've got to focus this in good directions, in, in right directions, so I say. I just get energy around you. It says here, ah, just put things in the right place order as you focus on good energy and also here i pick up let's have a little look here let's finish off with the cards i'm gonna wish through you guys and uh get your readings here in fact i'm gonna go with that one middle one and uh a fabulous energy time you're coming into i think you're going to be really excited about hey i don't know why i'm feeling good but i'm just feeling good and money's got to look good romance to look good properties are going to look good ariana you're coming to a fabulous time and yet you're you're letting go of old love that's it let it go let it go let it go do the sagittarian thing and look to the future there's loads of sagittarians on this show who says you know don't look backwards look forwards yes uh security around you you looking for a new job it's coming love is on its way Blissful, take your time. You never know what's just around the corner. Okay, let's go to Mahela. Let's have a little look here. Any, blue, anything for me here? Mahila blue. It sounds like a lovely colour, doesn't it? I'm just going to decorate my house in Mahila blue. Yes, that'd be a fabulous colour, that, wouldn't it? Can you just imagine it being amazing? Mahila, you're probably thinking here, what a nut job. Yes, you're probably right. Anyway, so Mahila, let's have a quick look for you. And uh, the energy around you, I'd just like to say here, I get... Um, uh, don't listen to the past. I get crackling energies of the past around you, Mihaela. Forget it. Forget stuff to do with the past. Um, and would you understand that you're sort of moving forwards here? And would you understand, Mihaela, you are making decisions around your life here that other people don't like? Do you know what that is? Tough. Yes, because it's your life, not theirs. Okay, you, would you understand this? You're making decisions here because I've got... I've got several spirits here who want to come through the spirit world. And I've also got a lady here who passed away in very unusual circumstances or where she was found. She says she was found in a very unusual place. And uh, she's just there. She just wants to show me here that she's, well, a bit up in the air at the moment. But she's um, she was coming through and she says here that uh, she's found an unusual place. And I pick up the energy around you is to believe in the power of you. I know, she says. I know. I know. Yes. Now, other people aren't going to like this. But this is stuff in the past. And people are rrr, rrr, like this here. Yes, 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 yes. It's a bit like the old lion's roar. But uh, they're outside the back door. Because you are moving on. You are moving on. This is just fabulous. You are changing your life around. So get on going. Get on going. Now, we've just got time for this as well. In fact, Mihaela, let's do a quick spread for the cards for you as well here. And I'll also pick up here. Would you understand that you come down a dress size? Come down a dress size here. And uh, would you also understand that you're feeling better about yourself physically? And would you understand here? Um, oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. She says she's up in the air. Uh, yeah, she hung herself. She, that's what she, yeah, very interesting because uh, she says she's up in the air. Um, okay, one way of putting it through, but uh, spirit come through in the way they do. Um, right, okay, and uh, let's have a look here. Uh, she, let's have a quick look. Now, she's looking at the three parts of cards. Even though sometimes people pass over, sometimes people get the perception that because someone's passed over, they don't sit in a good place in the spirit world. That's not true. That is not true. Not true at all. Anybody tells you here, oh, they're in a bad place in the spirit world because they took their own life. That is not true. Not true. They have their own place in the spirit world. It's part of their life, part of their life plan. Right. Uh, I'm going to go for the left on this. Left on this here. Now, let's have a quick look. And your cards here are saying, 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 money matters. No, your money, this is about you moving on and money matters get stronger around you. Sometimes if people don't like it, your life changes and your life looks better and your life looks happier because you're letting old miserables you know, let go in the past here. Finance is going to be stronger. And uh, because of that, you'll change your life and you're having a brilliant time. Get on with it. Go on out there and don't stop. Don't stop and hold on behind you thinking, I've got to think about everybody else. You're on the right path, girl. Go for it. Go for it, girl. Go for it. Simon, anything for me? Yes. Okay, Simon, lovely, lovely to see you on the show. We're just going to do this very quickly. Anything for me? Anything for me? Um, if I was to say to you here about structure, would you understand here about taking yourself into a new core set of beliefs? Would you understand about getting yourself healthier? 
Would you understand about getting yourself fitter? And would you understand to get your mind more focused about where you're going and focused on yourself, believing in the power of you? Because that energy is strong around you, not what everybody else is here. Yes, Mahela, I totally agree. Jealous people, especially when it comes to money, especially when it comes to values, and you start changing your life, who would not like? They always like to be some of those people who are what we call the lovely fair weather friends. Okay, 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 okay. So uh, let's have a uh, let's have a quick look here. So uh, that's what I want to say to you here, Simone. Really, the orange is a lovely energy, but it's about take on this power yourself here. It's a beautiful color, beautiful feeling here too. And I, I get the feeling of this here. So get yourself into a good place. Get yourself in a good place. And uh, right, I'm, I'm going to go for the left on this. So I was torn between the two, but let's have a look at the left. Simon, this is terrific times for you if you start listening and working on yourself. It's good here. Yes, you have had, you had misbelief around you and you've been in a job which hasn't been right. You've been feeling that uh, you'll be put under pressure and that you're being dictated to. And also here that you feel here that uh, you've not been respected. Get a grip of yourself. Grip yourself here. Get your health right, first of all. Get your motivation going. You're going to feel good about yourself. And then you're going to start seeing, because you start doing that, your motivation empowers, your energy goes up, the frequency of your life changes, and opportunities come to you like that. Simple as that. Get going. Get going. It's not like you're being told off, but Spirit World is saying here, do it. Anyway, uh, quick shout out, Cheryl Orange, and for me. Then we're gonna, then we're gonna totally look at tell you a little bit about other stuff coming up this week, just before we go. But uh, well, it's lovely, lovely to see you guys. I love to chat with you guys on the show here. It's, it's just so much fun, so much fun, so much energy. And uh, zero to go now. Uh, Orange, anything for me? I think this arena for you here. Sometimes you're gonna feel like. I want to do this for me, but they need my help. And I, I want to do this for me, but then they need my help. And sometimes it's making a little bit of time for yourself. And uh, the, I've got two people coming. I've got um, I've got a lady here who wants to show me that she had a lot of neck problems. She can't speak very well. She couldn't speak very well at all. She was uh, just show me here that she was in a difficult place. Um, health wise, her, her voice was blocked. Um, but she she's coming through and she just says to be here, that need to sort of... Uh, Focus on yourself a little bit here, because yourself, because that's that's where it's all going to start to go for you, and I think it'll go right there. Um, right, so let's just have a look at these cards. This it coming up for you, and uh, right, 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 right. Uh, oh, yes, 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 yes. This is about take your power, do what you've got to do first. Sometimes it's using that lovely word that just says no. What part don't you understand? The N or the O? Because you've got things to do for yourself, but you're putting yourself down a little bit. Don't put yourself down. Don't tie yourself down to other people trying to keep everyone else happy. It won't work. You won't end up happy doing that. And you'll feel at the end of the week thinking, why didn't I just look after me? Because I need to do things for me. And then you'll be in a strong place. How's that? Happy, happy? Right, good. Uh, Debbie A should just join us. We're at the end of the show. <laughs> it's lovely to see you Kathy uh, if we didn't get a chance to read for you I can't remember if you put a question up there but it's lovely to see you uh, Melina says thank you so much and uh, I just want to say here on behalf of myself and Deborah the producer thank you so 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 much for joining us in today's show you can feel that energy can you just feel that energy I felt it during the show here just to go for it and just do it because it's a powerful energy out there now with that uh, new moon that's about to come into Leo. It's going to make a great link, great link over to Mars. We're all feeling the lift. Whilst you get the opportunities to go and use this energy, do so. Um, because Saturn's going to be there in the next few days later. I'm going to say here, we're going to slow things down a little bit. And you don't want that. You want to just go, go, go. Go, go. So, um, yes, just to remind you, on Tuesday, I've got a spiritual farmer coming on here. Uh, and uh, I've got a spiritual farmer coming on. He's going to be an awesome guy. Um, <laughs> yes, Paul Paul says here, this is hilarious. Paul says here, he says, uh, lovely show, even if I did lower the town. You definitely did. Only a Scorpio could take it down low and low and low. And look at all these hearts. Thank you very much. Hey, Betty. Hey, guys, we've got to give a big, uh, please send loads of hearts to this lovely, lovely, lovely lady. She has been in a hospital for months, if I believe right. Is this right, Betty? You've been in a hospital since February. Please send loads of hearts. Lovely day. She's going home on Tuesday. This is wonderful news. 
Wonderful you, you've been there far too long and now you're actually gonna go home. Oh, what a lovely change of energy. What a lovely change of energy. So um, big, big loves, big hearts to you. And Betty, that's fabulous news. And uh, to all you guys across the pond, uh, big hearty loves to you guys here. Uh, didn't get round to everybody this evening, but um, uh, we'll be on a Wednesday show. Wednesday show, definitely do so. And uh, also on next Sunday show. But uh, for Chelsea over there in, in the States and um, everybody else across the pond there, Big wishes to you. Didn't get round to you this evening, but uh, you know the heart's there. The heart's there, so is the burger. The heart and the burger. Whenever you have a burger, you're just thinking of Cafe Clairvoyance. When you have love, you're thinking of Cafe Clairvoyance. You'll be there with your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Oh, hang on. Where are you? You're not here. Yes, I'm with Cafe Clairvoyance. Oh. <laughs> All good fun, isn't it? Anyway, you guys take care. Have a Fabulous evening, wherever you're going, whatever you're doing, and see you very soon. See you on Tuesday night. Tuesday night at uh, 8 p.m. in Spain, 7 p.m. in the UK, and we're going to have a fabulous time.